to the studio. Today I'm going to do a Chinese themed pour. I'm actually going to do it in a flip cup with holes in the bottom and with a red background. So something I haven't tried before. So we're going, it's kind of an experiment. If you like what you see, I hope you try it at home. Okay, so I've already prepared my canvas. I sprayed it so that it's nice and tight. Put some masking tape on it and I'm going to check it to make sure it's level. And if it's level, then I'll get started and everything looks good. You always want to make sure your paint is level, your uh, table is level, your painting is level. That way your paint doesn't roll off the side after you walk away. So the colors I'm using today is I have Saks True Flow Acrylic. Just a little bit of that. My background is going to be a mixture of two Craft Studio paints. One is Craft Smart. One is Nicole's Craft Studio mixed together. And then I have two metallics. One's the Deco Art regular metallic and one is the Deco Art Outdoor Living. Now be careful when you mix these up with your flow mix. They do mix up differently because this is an outdoor version of the paint. So this requires a lot more of your flow mixture. I am also putting silicone in only my black, gold, and bronze. So let's get started. Everything is mixed pretty thin because I do want it to flow. I want to save a little bit of this because I'm going to put it in my layers. Not a lot of it though. I'm going to get my gloves on too. That might be important. A little bit of bubbles in here. Just a little bit. I did mix it up kind of quickly. Sometimes when you mix it fast, the bubbles come into the paint. All right, so I'm going to move this around, coat my... Well, actually, Let's just use this. This might be easier. Oops. Making a mess. Look at this. <laughs> around the bottom of the cup. Now, because it's not totally full, it's a smaller canvas, I'm going to turn it over using my spatula. So I just want to quickly get it. Whoops, I just dripped a bit. That's all right. I actually kind of like that. So I want to put a little bit of a little bath around the outside edge of this red, help it to move a little bit. I'm actually going to go ahead and let my spatula drip off, maybe even pour some of that gold and copper in there. All right, ready? Let's get started. So the air should go in here and it will float and move down my canvas. And then we'll move it a little bit so you see the additional paint coming out. So it's flowing 
Mm. Love that. Let's let some of that drip right here. We've got a little blank space here. Ha! Huh. Inside, even the inside of the cup is wonderful. I do want some of that black. I dug in the canvas a little bit too much right there, so let's let's let that come out. Give it a swirl. Oh, I love this. Now, if you're not sure you like the shape of this, you can sh you can tilt it like you do another type of painting. I'm going to tilt some of this this direction just because I like to I want to fill this spot like I said. Let's go ahead and bring it back a little bit. Oh, I love this. That's it. That's what I want to do. Let me get a little bit more of it to come off this end here. You see the weight of it's racing this? Okay. I don't want to lose all that pattern, so let me move it back a little bit. I think I like that just like it is. I'm going to bring this a little bit. But I think I'll, I'll leave that. What do you think? Now this is turning out very wonderful. I think I'm going to enjoy this one. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you try this one at home.